Hi, my name is Serge and welcome to Power Surge. On this channel, I show you everything that I know about Revit. In today's episode, I focus on Revit Lite and the mysterious link bind function that's coming up straight after this. This is a Revit LT model. On screen is a link. Typically in full Revit, you are able to select the link and then within the highlighted zone, an option to bind this link to the template would appear. However, as shown in Revit LT, such a button does not exist. Well, not everything is as it seems. Closer investigation reveals that if you load grouped elements, or in other words, model groups, they are registered as links for binding as long as the exported file size is larger than 10 meg. So here Revit is treating the group as a link for binding and so it seems like a suitable solution. A suitable workflow could be to select the model elements in the otherwise linked project to create a model group. To learn more about model groups, click the link on your screen now to watch my video on how to export phased Revit models to a new template. From there and in floor plan view, relocate the model group origin to match the project base point as shown. This will be important when we need to reinsert the model group. Following on, right click the model group within the project browser to access the side menu and click save group. Do exactly that, save the model group to a suitable location. It is important to note here that Revit is treating this exported model group as an RVT, a Revit project file. Then notice, Revit processes this in exactly the same way as it handles links for binding on full Revit projects. Open up Revit LT and on the insert tab find load as group. Find your exported model group file and be sure to include levels and grids. Upon opening, notice that bind link information box again. Accept all duplicates and the model group has now successfully been imported into the LT file. The last step includes opening a floor plan view with a visible project base point. Then find the imported model group in the project browser and right click. From the side menu, choose Create Instance. Then place the model group origin over the project base point to finalize placing in the model group. Revit may return some warnings, but that is not unusual. This completes the process. And here in 3D view, we can see the model group as placed in the project. Well, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope that you found it interesting and that you learned something new. If you did, Consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on any future content and I will see you in the next video.